That's going to be my new intro. Let me do it again. Hey, y'all. Danny Moon here. <laughs> Acting silly. Um, I'm just happy that I'm home. So, you know, I always got a story to tell you. Just trying to get this, fix this camera. Um, not the camera. You know, I'm on my phone with my 33 minutes. Boom, boom, boom. With my 33 minutes. Um... And that's why I really should be hurrying up. Listen, I was on the phone talking to a friend, and I was going to do a pick-a-pal tonight, something different. Um, and that's been on my mind, like, oh, oh, this my, I want to say this is my Old Faithful 2. I used to wear this one all the time, but I found it in the back of the closet, so I had to shake it off and put it on. Um, anyway, I was talking to my friend, and I was going to do a pick-a-pal, but then I changed my mind. <laughs> and I think I changed my mind because usually when I call spirit in, I meditate, I pray, and it's just me, spirit, and the cards, and what I'm doing. This time I was talking on the phone, chat, 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 but my mind was calling spirit in as I'm talking on the phone. And I would not take these cards up. I actually kept going for a different deck, going for a different deck. So I know that this particular message is for somebody. So a disclaimer, this message may not be for you. But listen to it anyway. I always give good positive messages. Now when something's wrong, I'm definitely going to tell you if something's wrong and if you should go this way and not that way. But overall, my messages are positive and I try to stay motivating and stuff like that, okay? So I was actually in the middle of shuffling. Spirit, can you please come in and give me... A self-care card please can you please come in and give a self-care card for this particular pile please come in please come in spirit and give me thank you spirit and and it's crazy y'all because I was literally talking to a friend about a funeral <laughs> okay and um, I really was like asking her questions and talking but my mind was saying spirit please Pick a card for this pile. Pick a card for this pile. And I think what what drew me was another deck that I haven't used in a long time. It is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Um, and I got the Fool in reverse. You know, the Fool upright is all about... Um, taking a chance, new beginnings, a leap of faith. You know, the full card is like the courageous card. The card that God is saying, like, do it. I'm going to catch you. Take a leap right now. I'm going to catch you. But when you get it in reverse, that means you're scared. That mean, And that kind of, I resonate with being scared because I'm scared of a lot of things, you know, and I'm put just putting that out there that I am scared of a lot of things when it comes to life like I'm scared of the unknown you know um I'm not scared of regular stuff but I'm scared of the unknown um especially like when it comes to like life decisions so when I got this when spirit pulled this in reverse I knew that this message had to go to somebody um, so we got two of these cards, two self-care cards. Hmm. Oh, I'm telling you, I cannot make any of this up when I say spirit is with me. Like when I talk, when I think, when I ask spirit to pull something, spirit knows that this message is for the collective, but it may only resonate with a couple of people, but it's already resonating with me. So this reading is about being scared, not being in, in your not being in your own mind and being all about self, taking a leap of faith, and um 
getting out of your mind, basically. People don't realize how detrimental that is to, to yourself. People don't realize how detrimental that can be by just focusing on your problems, focusing on your issues. People do not know how detriment that could be to your own life and to the people that are around you. And then when I tell people, um, change your change your mind frame, change your train of thought, change the negativity. Trust me, y'all, it's not an easy task and it doesn't happen overnight. And I'm still in the process of learning myself. I learn from other people. And when I learn from other people, I pass it on to you guys that, you know, maybe you know this already, maybe you don't, you know. Um. But when you change your thought pattern, you have to start with, you have to start with little things. Um, you have to start with little things, such as like the people that you hang around. If they're giving you too much um, negative energy, you don't need to be with them, you know. Um, sorry. Um, you don't need to be with them. So little steps like that. Um, also, also, you have to change your... When, when you change, when you start to change your train of thought, you have to try to change a little bit of everything. Everything when it comes to your thought patterns. If you see something ugly, you should try to see the beauty in it. If you see someone you don't like, go the other way. <laughs> or try, just try one time saying hello. Try starting a good conversation. Try, try your best to push forward and to be a better person. If you see someone you don't like, remember it's not about you. It's about, it's not about them. It's about you. It's about you being a better person. You know, um, a friend of mine said she was calling someone that she had an issue with and she was calling to apologize because she's changing she's trying to change just like I'm trying to change just like I'm trying to pass along this information so y'all can try to change the train of thought no negativity none whatsoever and some people would be like some people would say and I know someone who would say this. I know a few people who would say, it's not negative, it's reality. Even if reality is reality, you can still find the beauty in reality. You know what I'm saying? Some people start off with, uh, 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 uh. Some people start off like this. Just, this is negative. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean take little steps even with fix even with fixing your facial expressions is a little step of trying to move in a positive light because when you move in a positive light you will exude positivity okay again with the corniness trust me 2 years ago i would have been like a year ago i would have been like I'm sorry, I just don't like how bright I look. Oh, there we go. Um, I would have been like, what the positivity my ass. I'm struggling out here in these streets. Okay? Thank you, spirit. Um, but it's all about... It's all about what you want. It's all about what you want. It's all about... We're not getting older. We're not getting younger. We're getting older. So it's all about doing the right thing. And I really feel like I'm going to run out of time. Yes, y'all. I'm blind. I'm blind.
Do y'all see what that say? Self-love. That's crazy because I just now said, if you put out positivity, you'll get, you'll get positivity back. You have to start with positivity with yourself. I, I also asked my friend, does she do affirmations? Um, I asked another friend too, does she do affirmation? And they kind of gave me the same answer. Like, oh yeah, I used to, I do it sometimes. Because when you change the train of thoughts, that is like really hard to say. When you change the train of thought that you have. You have to train your thoughts. You have to force yourself to do those affirmations every day. And you should start off with saying, I am not fearful. I am not scared. I accept change. I am going to take a leap of faith because I accept change. I want to be a more, I want to be a better person, a positive person. Once you say that to yourself, at least for 30 days, your, your train of thought will start to change. <clears throat> Spirit is telling you to get, you got this in reverse. Spirit is telling you to get um, rest with it upright. Um, spirit is saying, please get some rest because your mind, it's a sword card again. This is the four swords. I know you, it's a little, um, these are very pretty cards too. Um, I know it's a little shiny, but I think you know what I'm saying. We get this all the time. Most of the signs get this card. This is rest and re rejuvenation. Upright. I was trying to on the load to like look for the book and real get it real quick. But I don't know what it means um reversed. I'm about to tell you and right now. <laughs> and um I was learning reversals today, how to do reversals today. Um and the man said, well the man said reversals is just the opposite. So if spirit is trying to tell you to get some rest, the opposite means you're doing too much rest. You're getting too much rest. Not too much rest. Not in that type of meaning, like you're sleeping too much. Meaning like you need to take action. You need to take some type of action. And you know why I said that? Because this was y'all's card too. It's time to take action. So someone says to me, I'm thinking like y'all would say to me, what type of action should I take? The first thing spirit wants you to know is whatever card I hold up to you, they want, spirit wants you to embody that energy. <clears throat> so like you got the empress. We got the empress. This is a collective reading, but I do feel like someone needed to hear this. We got the empress. And the empress means we're birthing something new. It also can mean pregnancy if you're pregnant. Um, the empress, the empress is very um, creative. She's very loving and nurturing. She's like a mother, even if you're not a mother. You're very nurturing, a, a big-hearted, loving woman okay and tarot has no gender so if you're a man same thing a big loving big hearted loving man you know um <clears throat> but energy want energy spirit wants you to embody this energy spirit wants you to take on the mind and the energy of the empress please if you have any ideas birth them Bring them to light. Do something with them. Even if you started with writing them down on a piece of paper. If you write it down on a piece of paper, then at least it is real. It's, it's tangible. It's in your hands. Um, so try first taking that step. Like, oh, I want to do a t-shirt business, but I, 
I, I, but you know, I just keep saying it. I'm not me. I'm just giving this as an example. I want to do a t-shirt business, but I don't know how. I'm, I, I'm on my daily life, blah blah blah. If you write it down, okay, these are the t-shirts I want. I could get three in a pack for seven ninety nine. If I get, since I'm just starting, if I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. If I get four packs, that's 12. I'm sorry, take me a minute. Um, that's 12 t-shirts. Let me put some rhinestones on it. Let me let me look around and see who got rhinestones. And put some rhinestones on it. And let's see if I can sell these 12 for $5. That's a train of thought. If you tell yourself something every day, if you tell yourself this, then if you start taking action on it, do you see it's like a building block? It all starts with training your thoughts, getting your thoughts out of this negative energy. There's enough negative energy around us. So to have negative energy within your mind, in your body, and then push that negativity out, why would you want to live your day-to-day -day life like that? When, when all you got to do these simple things, I didn't really ask you to buy anything. I didn't ask you to do anything. Okay. I asked you to embody the energy of the Empress. I asked you to give yourself some self love, self love. All of that costs nothing. Okay. So if you don't try, then you want to be like this. Okay. Again, four swords in reverse means you are still means you are still stagnant, stuck, doing your daily routine, going to work, getting up, cooking, kids, doing it again, going to work, cooking, cleaning, kids, blah, blah. If you do not do something different and you stay doing your same thing and I told you this before I told either sign this I think I told the sign this before I don't know what sign it was if you stay like that then your life will not progress your ultimate goal should be your ultimate question should be what is my life purpose that should be your ultimate question. Now, I always tell you, like, I have young subscribers. So, for the young ones, if you're not, if you're not feeling this, then go look at one of my other videos. <laughs> um, or just turn it off. Or let somebody older listen to it. But people who are my age, even a little bit younger... And it really doesn't even matter about an age thing. If you are ready to fulfill your life purpose, to have some purpose in your life, you can still do your daily your daily routine, your daily... See my Palo Santo? Thank you, Cassandra. <laughs> um, you can still do your daily thing and implement these things that I'm asking you to implement. And you will see a change. Mind you, do not do any of this without prayer. And you can believe in whatever you believe in. You don't have to believe in Jesus or God. You can believe in Buddha. Pray to Buddha. Pray to your God. You can believe you God. Pray to yourself. Because you're really praying to your higher self. Okay? Because that is, that is where you will see change. Is when you start doing self-care, self-love, going within, um, not staying still, not staying still, getting up and taking some action, and action could be, action could be walking for 30 minutes, it could be making a, a, a new meal, say if, say if you didn't really, you cook, you know how to cook a little bit, if you, you home, like I'm home, like when I get off of here, I'm about to make some burgers. Okay? But instead of making um, burgers with, like, because I'm trying not to get any larger, I'm going to eat it, like, with a lettuce wrap or something. 
It's just something different. Try something different. That will be, that means you are taking action. <clears throat> you got, we got the star card. You got, we got the star card. This says, and I tell you all the time, if you come to my channel, you are divinely guided. How do I know I'm divinely guided, Danny Moon, Karen, aka Pole Girl? Because we got the star card and because you come to this channel. I tell you, everybody who comes here is divinely guided. How do I know that? Because spirit tells me, Karen, get the collective together. Get them to listen to you. Get them to find their purpose. Get them to use their ability. This is what spirit tells me. So this is how I know we are divinely guided. This is also a, a wish card. So since I'm giving you the reading, before you go to bed, look up, look up and give gratitude always. And make a small wish. Don't ask for no lottery. But, you know, ask for happiness. Ask for, ask for spirit, God, the universe to take some of the negativity away in the world and with you. It's not going to hurt nobody. <laughs> it's really not going to hurt nobody, okay? I'm on 21 minutes. You know this ends at 33.04 or some shit. Um, sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm a little bit of a cursor. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> we've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift from God. Your God, my God, the universe, spirit. You see that? You see that? Look at that. Let me put it right in the light. Ace of Pentacles. This means you're going to get some type of raise. You're going to find $20 on the floor. You're going to come into some money. A stimulus check. You're not going to be rich. So don't be, that don't mean, don't be looking for no richness but you're gonna get something i promise you within the next 30 days to six months it never takes six months never takes six months 30 days you leave a comment if you get if you get some money or find some money make an extra dollar get a raise get 10 cent find some money in your couch under the pillow please leave me a comment because spirit god the universe is coming in with a gift for you. So all you can say is thank you, Lord. Okay? I don't know what kind of work y'all all do. I know what I know what some of y'all do. Um, but you will be collaborating with other people. Within this job, you will be collaborating with other people. You might say, we already worked, I already work with a bunch of people. This is something new within the 30 days that you will be either taking on a project of your own. That project that I said that you were probably going to be doing. You'll, you will be working. Remember when I said embody the empress? She um, is about creative ideas. Remember I said, talked about the t-shirt? Whatever you decide to do whether it's on the side or in your, in your real career, you will be working with people within the next 30 days. These people are going to come in and they're going to help you work. This could be a brother, a sister. It could be anybody. But whoever these people are, this they're going to help you. This card also, this is the three of pentacles. This also means you could be looking for a home, buying a home, an apartment. M most of the times it means a home. It means a house. But this also means collaboration, working with people. That work could be anything. You got the four cups. I don't like this card. Though you see him? He's ungrateful. Sometimes people could be ungrateful and not even know. Sometimes um, a friend, a family member, um, a pastor, anybody could be giving you advice. And instead of really listening to the advice, you're like, I know, I know. You're so buried. You're so worried, buried. You're so worried about having a comeback that you're not even really listening to what the person is saying. That's being ungrateful. Because you're not grateful for what the person is trying to offer you. 
That's what he's been. He's so busy looking at those three cups that he can't reach. Those three cups of why they not full? Why they this? Why they not that? And not even turning around and looking at that gift that God is trying to give him. Now you say, what what gift? What gift is God trying to give me that I ain't see? You know by waking up, that's a gift within itself. So you shouldn't even be boo-hooing in the corner no way about your problems. You really should be like, thank you, God. Like, I, I don't got the corona. I'm going to work every day. Or you can even say, I got the corona and I'm getting better. I got the corona and I'm still paying my bills. I got the corona, but I still got, the, got a job. Okay, there's a lot that you could be thankful for. Please don't be ungrateful. Spirit is trying to say, someone out here who's listening to this, who's listening to this message, is being ungrateful, and I don't think you know that you're being ungrateful. So when the takeaway to this message is that now when you wake up tomorrow and the next day, be grateful. Give gratitude. Don't just be thankful. Give gratitude. Gratitude is... Gratitude is many things, but for me, gratitude is when I'm crying in the car, thanking God, like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Lord. And when it comes from my gut, not when it comes from a regular routine. Oh, thank you, God, for waking me up. I read the Bible. I go to church. No. Gratitude is letting spirit and God know that you are grateful for the things that you have. A friend of mine told me that he was um he was crying and I was like, "Oh my god, why are you crying?" He told me it was a good cry because he had to look around and see what he had that people don't have. You know what I'm saying? I did um my my uh who is this? My niece came home with three um angel tree you know, the, the list, the angel tree thing. And we each took a family to help for Christmas. Do something like that. That's giving, that's giving gratitude when you give back, okay? Um, one little girl for the Girl Scouts, um, she asked for, she didn't ask for toys. She ain't asked for computer. She didn't ask for nothing crazy. You know what she asked for? She asked for a pack of underwear. Tell me we shouldn't be giving gratitude to the Lord, to, to your Lord, to your God, to the universe. Tell me we shouldn't be looking up and saying, thank you, God. I got underwear to put on. This little 10-year-old girl did not have underwear. We should never be in this frame of mind. We should always be on alert to what our mind is thinking, to what, to what our mind is thinking and what energy we giving off always be alert to that two of swords what do i tell you the swords cards mean answer me i'm gonna give you two minutes what does the swords card mean y'all need to see it again right i heard somebody in the back over there say the mind the mind yes good girl the mind you see how she's trapped blindfold on I call this the um, being petty card. This is like, oh no, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not answering. I'm not making no decision. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Does that make any sense? I'm on 28 minutes, y'all. Y'all understand what I'm saying, right? Don't be petty because you, that doesn't serve you. That doesn't serve anybody. That's again, the negativity. Put the swords down. Get out of your mind. Stop contemplating. Should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Just do it. Just do it. And I am very proud of my friends that I have been speaking to. Um, I've been speaking to them, a couple of them, the, the past couple of days. Th these people are making progress. I am making progress. So we all should be making progress. But it's it's a pro it's a process, and it should be an everyday thing. These things that I told you to do, and not that I'm telling you to do them. I'm asking you to do them with me.
please. I have affirmations on my mirror that I used to say every day. I stopped saying them. Y'all should be asking me, Cameron, why you stop saying them? If you preaching it, why you stop saying it? Because I'm human and I fall off the wagon too. But when I fall off the wagon, I expect y'all in the comments to pick me back up. Because this is what I'm here to pick y'all back up. Alright, I'm on 30 minutes, y'all. This one, this is your self-care card. It says, sync with the moon. The moon in the tarot deck is about fears. I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming. I'm looking for that card. Oh, it's right here. Right in front of my face. Didn't you get the full card? And now you're getting another moon card, which is about fear. But spirit is telling you to sink with the moon. Instead of being fearful of it. Instead of being fearful of whatever's going on in your mind, go see what those problems is about. Bring them out of your mind. Bring them down here. Dissect them. Chop them up. Talk to yourself. Deal with it and then throw it away and go on to the next issue. Your next card is take a motherfucking walk. I don't care how cold it is. Take a walk in the park connect with nature mm, 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 mm. i always think i'm a rapper y'all <sighs> anyway seriously um spirit wants you to take a take a walk in a park connect with nature which is gaia you want to be grounded all the time y'all you want to stay grounded connected to the earth please 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 um your next card is door to value and I'm going to be honest with you. You did get it in reverse. But I don't want to give it to you in reverse. I want to give you some motivation. Door to value. Your pentacle cards. Okay? I'm about to get cut off, y'all. I love y'all. Just in case I get cut off, you can email me at KarenFordance at gmail.com or leave a comment. Look at that. Door to value. Ace of Pentacles, your star card. I told you it's a wish card. All right? Get up and take some action, please. Tomorrow, do something. Tomorrow, go for a walk. Do some exercise. Cook a different meal. Don't be stagnant. Look at the moon the next time it's out. December 15th, I think. What's today? The 10th. December 15th. Is the next moon, full moon, half a moon. CC, let me know. Tell me in the comments, CC, when the next moon is, December 15th, what kind of moon it is. All right, y'all, I love y'all. I know that was quack, um, quack quick, <laughs> but I just need to get this message out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm out. Thirty-three twenty-two. Let's see how far it goes. Maybe I could keep talking, y'all. You think? You think? Maybe I can pull a romance card real quick. Let's see real quick. Spirit, please, can you come in before I get cut off? I might get cut off, y'all, but y'all got the reading. Y'all got the reading. Hey, Spirit, can I get a romance card for the collective, please? Can I get a romance card for the collective? For all my new subscribers, my friends, my loved ones out there. Let's give them a romance card. Can I get a couple of them, please? For a couple of people. I'm getting different energy right now. Spirit, can you please give me... Oof. Too many, Spirit. But I'll take these three. There was three that was down. And all of these. Let's see. Ooh, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So your soulmate, the one that you're really going to marry and meet, they may differ from the person that you think it should be. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. 
Enjoy the bliss of holiday. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Honeymoon. So somebody may be going on a honeymoon. Healing family issues. I think we all need this. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Wow. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, like, if you got any ongoing issues from your past, from your parents, Spirit is telling you to heal that. Because if you don't start healing that, you won't heal yourself. Seriously. Ooh, there's a new love in town. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Somebody out there got new love coming in. All right, y'all. Who? What was at the bottom of the deck? Mm. This is for me and my friend. Mm, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'm being, being silly now. All right. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do another sign. I don't know who's next. I think I did Leo. I think maybe Virgo is next, but I'm really leaving now. Bye. <laughs>